why use a log log graph? I wondered this myself, so I sat down and thought about it. If you have an output called capital Y, which is the log of your actual output, and you have an input capital X, which is the log of the actual input X, then you're basically writing y equals mx plus b for y being the log of little y and the x being the log of little x. The benefit to this is you can rewrite it and do 10 raised to both sides and we break it up with 10 to the b, put that in front. 10 to the log of x to the a is just x to the a. 10 to the b we could rename c and y equals c x to the a. That's a power function. That's any power function. You could have y equals 10x squared, 4x cubed, 5 over x, 100 over the square root of x. Any power function like that can be described in this way. The real advantage is when you plot it on here, you will get a straight line for your power function. And so if you have like data from a lab experiment, you can perform the least squares regression for best fit of a line. And that's the real benefit. And just to show one example, suppose on your log log graph you get big Y equals one half big X plus two. What does that end up meaning? Well the one half is the A, so we have X to the one half, we have square root of X. And the B here is two, and 10 to the B is a coefficient, so it's 100 y equals 100 square root x, and that is graphed as a straight line on a log-log graph.